Big Ten fans have been watching their favorite sports teams for more than 100 years. The fan base is enormous, the stadiums are cathedrals, and the rivalries are deeply rooted. But in this show, we'll see how students and faculty compete through research and innovation that impacts people not just on campuses, but around the world. Our first story is about a car. So naturally, we'll begin in Ann Arbor, just 45 minutes from the capital of the auto industry. Since 1896, the University of Michigan has won more than 350 Big Ten championships. In 1989, a new Michigan team was formed. This team doesn't compete in a stadium or arena, but they've been stockpiling national titles at an unprecedented rate. The Michigan team, we believe, is America's best. Michigan Solar Car Team has become a symbol of excellence in Ann Arbor and around the world. Every two years, team members collaborate to build a new car to compete in the American Solar Car Challenge, the Collegiate National Championship Race. Since Michigan's first race in 1990, the team has won six championships in the United States and five times has finished in the top three in the world championships. This isn't just a classroom project. This is a real project where it takes two years to complete. We build a real car that goes on the open public roads and completely run by students, we race this million dollar car against the world's best teams. The legacy is a really big part of this team and the fact that we can come to this school and beat them all and be the best in this country and very competitive in the world, it's really a nice sense of accomplishment. Walk into the Wilson Center an engineering building located in the heart of the campus, at any time, day or night, and you'll find team members working on the newest solar car. With over 100 participants, the solar team is the largest student project on campus, and the organization is comprised solely of students. We like working with professors, we like asking questions, we like going further, but at the end of the day, we're a student-run team, and we also like that the university provides us with the autonomy to really do that. Energy equals the power times T. We're not a business, we're not doing this for money, we're doing this because we want to. And I think that speaks volumes for the availability of this technology. The fact that an amateur can do this well, it means that there's a real future in solar technology and electric cars. Solar car team members are a diverse lot, encompassing a wide range of disciplines and specialties. They see themselves as a corporation with four distinct divisions. I love the fact that students from all over the university become part of this team. So the students are not all engineers. I think what it shows is that there are top flight programs across the university. We have business who takes care of all the fundraising, we have operations, which makes sure you know, our workspace is all good for working in. We have strategy, who determines how we race the car. They determine what speeds we go at when. And we have engineering, who takes care of designing and building the car. The solar car works in actually a pretty simple way. No engines, no carburetors. You have the solar cells on top that generate electricity from the sun and they can charge the batteries and in turn the batteries will power the motor. We actually make the car in two bodies essentially but each body is one piece of carbon fiber. So that just means that we can lift the car into two halves and it'll be easier to essentially maintain parts of the car. Once the motor parts and battery are assembled in the bottom carbon fiber, the top layer, which has 2,200 solar cells on the frame, is placed on top of the bottom piece, and all that's left to operate the vehicle is the sun. It feels good being part of something that's this important. It feels good that I'm part of something that's on the bleeding edge of technology. Some of the technologies that we're going to develop, I can pretty clearly see in a future car. The car endures rigorous testing. Michigan's 2011 edition Quantum even took a spin around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But every year, the design of the car continues to evolve. Since 1990, there 
battery pack was actually as heavy as our entire car put together. And where Lay would drive around 25 miles an hour during the race, we drive at highway speeds like 60 miles an hour. So that just shows how big of a jump we made within 20 years. Every single year that we do the solar cart, we have a couple of big improvements. Like this past year, we were 200 pounds lighter and we became a lot more aerodynamic. This year, we have some ideas on how we can make the electrical system a whole lot better. And we think it could save us a good couple hours of race time. Every two years, the Michigan team gets the ultimate feedback on their design taking part in the American Solar Challenge, which attracts teams from universities in North America for a race that ranges from 1,100 to 2,500 miles. We have a motor that's tuned for efficiency and it's incredibly aerodynamically efficient. We've gotten it to be 105 miles per hour on a racetrack, which is exceedingly fast and, and that was awesome. The event is divided into stages, similar to the Tour de France a true test of endurance and speed. It does feel great winning six out of 10 races, but in the end, racing, it doesn't matter who you're competing against. It's just about improving yourself, showing the world what you can do. The Michigan Solar Car Team boasts over 100 sponsors, all of whom keep tabs on the project. But a neighbor keeps the closest watch. Having the automotive industry right in your backyard, there's really not a bigger advantage you can have. Because of the Michigan solar car team, Ford will be a better competitor in the marketplace because we're learning a lot, interacting with a great set of individuals, and will help us make ourselves more competitive, more successful going forward. Because of the solar car team, the automobile industry will be able to expand its horizon and really look at all the technology that's out there to improve their cars. This is preparing kids for the future. I mean, you can take your classes and you can do the theory and you can solve your math homework or you can go out and really apply it. And that's what the business world is about. That's what the real world is about. You can't really learn this type of material in a classroom and getting to be able to, at such a young age, kind of put it into action and try out these things is a really invaluable experience. And I think we're very lucky to be at a university that supports this kind of program. 